days just like this that make people want to move to the south because no kidding. it's January and it's fantastic. I'm Amy Wood. And I'm Ben Hoover. We are halfway through the week and I'll tell you what, we have been very blessed with the weather this week so far. I think more people are going to be moving down here as they get more <laughs> snow up north and we keep having days like this. We are really excited to tell you about something behind the scenes here at 7 News and WSPA. Yeah. We have got a director on our staff who has welcomed a new little one to the world. So we want to show you and introduce you to the most adorable little one. This is Dawson Hale Sloan. He is the son of our director, Ryan Sloan, and his wife, Haley. Mom and baby are doing just fine. We're not sure about dad, though. He's probably freaking out a little bit <laughs> at this point. Haley's tough as nails, he said. She went through 40 hours of labor. Dawson's 19 and a half inches long, weighing 7 pounds, 13 ounces. Another precious member of Carolina's family. Yes, and good for mama. 40 hours of labor. I think it will take more than 40 hours, though, to get Ryan ready to be a first-time <laughs> daddy, though. Well, they and they were, did the traditional way where they waited to yeah, find out waited. boy or girl. So how exciting to have a son in right. the family. It's, Not it's too really many cool. surprises in life. Except for that. Yeah, if that's you, like the big one. That that's yeah. right. That's right. Well, we want to, of course, also talk about the Clemson Tiger family today because, boy, oh, boy, are people getting excited. Take a look. Those Clemson Tigers are closing in now on Monday night's championship game, the national championship game. One Tiger talks about a group of LSU players that he is well aware of. Our sports director, Pete Yannity, is in the studio with that part of the story coming up. And speaking of people moving to the south here to the upstate, just how many people will be on? On Interstate 85 in 10 or 20 years? Well, we take a look today at how the upstate has changed over the past decade and what the focus is for the future. 10 at the top is here to talk about all those details. And it is chili making season, at least on most days in the South. And there's a local chili cook off that's just about here. We've got the past winners in the studio to show you the tricks to making good chili. They're going to share some old secrets, but they're still competing this year, so they may not share everything. That's right. And we will also find out what you can do to enter this cook off. There is still a possibility to enter through Friday. In fact, we have the winners from the past two years. So these are like double winners. They're not giving away all the goods, though. They got to they gotta keep it close to their chest. I think know? we're going to get a yeah. few good tips, though. I'm excited about that. Well, we, of course, want to keep an eye on the weather because it's nice. Let's check in with Dan Bickford. He's in Spartanburg. He's got to check on this uh, beautiful weather, Dan. Yeah, looks great out there. Lots of sunshine. Saw a couple 60 degree readings across the area today virtually cloud free across the southeast that keeps us clear tonight it also means it's going to be another chilly night don't be shocked to see temperatures down to close to freezing in some spots once again tonight but how about these numbers out there right now 62 spartanburg through greenville and clemson and anderson 63 in union still some 50s in the mountains but for this time of year much warmer than where we should be. As we go through the rest of the night, we're going to see the winds that have been kind of gusty today. These are going to die down as well. So look for mostly clear skies. Once that sun sets, temperatures will rapidly fall through the 50s into the low to mid 40s by 9 o'clock. And we're going to end up not too far from freezing again tomorrow morning in the upstate. Temperatures rapidly fall through the 30s, and we end up around 30, maybe even a few upper 20s.